Greetings. It is I, the Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, on the interwebs. Give me your Bitcoins. I just realized in all of these, my keys are probably jangling and making noise. That sucks. We are still out here on the hiking trail. If you listened to the previous edition of Stating the Obvious, I mean, Anarchy Moment, you will know that I was about to die because I was standing in the middle of a river while a storm was coming in. Well, guess what? Anarcho-capitalism wins again. I'm about to cross the river. Oh, yeah. Didn't fall in and die. Yes. So I continued up the trail. Despite the weather, the rain started coming in a little bit. Pulled out my poncho because, you see, I wasn't relying on Obama to show up with a poncho if it started raining while I was on the trail. I have two little snack bars with me. I have my flashlight. I have a poncho. I have a hat. I have a two-quart canteen. I have to go across the river again. Hang on. There we go. And I came prepared. I was not relying on the Messiah, Hussein Obama, the first affirmative action president and the second coming of Jesus. Or, according to some people, actually the first coming of Jesus. Because, of course, the Jews, who are primarily liberals, don't believe Jesus was the Messiah. And so, from their perspective, Obama probably is the first coming of the Messiah, not the second. However, for the many Christians I know who are liberal Democrats and voted for Obama, which still baffles the shit out of me how you can be a Christian and a liberal Democrat, I don't get that, but I don't get a lot of things. More water to go across. There's a lot of water crossings. Whoa. Now, that was that was me almost falling in. I wasn't even going across yet. I was getting ready to jump it. All right. Whoa. I almost fell in twice. Here we go. All right. I lived. But a lot of you are saying, ah, shit, I was hoping he'd die right there. Remember, if I die, you're not going to hear this unless somebody gets this and puts it on the internet after I'm dead, which if you find this next to my dead body, I give you permission to put all of these files on the internet. So anyhow, I showed up out here for my hike prepared. I did not need Obama to come and save me from myself or provide me with a fucking safety net and a poncho and all this other shit. So I'm trekking along and you know, you guys have been with me. We've been walking up the side of this mountain doing my thing. The rain started coming down. I got out the poncho. I put the poncho on. I kept going. Crossed the water and I got to this point where I said, hmm, see, now I am the tallest thing on the mountain. Right this moment, as I'm talking to you, I am, in fact, the tallest thing around. And there it was, dark clouds, thunder rumbling, oh, oh, the impending doom. If only, if only there were a state agency to protect me. I can't do this on my own. Why, I can't be responsible for my own life. That's fucking crazy talk. I need a politician to make a law that says, It's time for me to come down off the mountain because, see, I'm not smart enough to make that judgment call myself. That's why I need the government. I need the government to hold my fucking cock while I piss because I'm just not smart enough to figure out not to piss where I sleep. So I stood there and I thought about it for a minute and I said, hmm, I'm the tallest thing on the mountain. Sky is black. All right, I'm gonna have to go ahead and do it. I'm gonna have to go back down. 
turned around, started down the mountain, went seriously, no bullshit, 50, maybe 75 meters. I am now standing here. The sun is shining. The clouds are vanishing all in the span of literally 60 seconds. It's gone. It's gone. And you see, this is the power of anarcho-capitalism. If you just push through, and if you just take responsibility for yourself, and if you come prepared, and you make your own fucking decisions, and you just say, you know what, I'm going to keep going. All right, you know what, I'm going to go back now because I think it's a smart thing to do. I endured through the impending storm clouds so long that by the time I decided to go back, the fucking storm was over. I'm standing here right now. I'm the tallest fucking thing in my vicinity. There's some trees around me. But right now, if there were lightning, I would be a giant fucking target. I stand here, my Zoom H2 recorder in one hand talking to you, and in my other hand, my balls. Yes, that's right. I am on the side of the mountain with my balls in my hand because they're huge. Because I'm an anarcho-capitalist. A fucking statist. A statist would have turned back. A statist would have said, Oh my God, it might rain. I might get my precious body wet. I, I have to obey the weather channel and not go out because there might be lightning. Because millions and millions of people get hit by lightning every single day. And statistically speaking, I could be one of them. And I'm afraid because the government told me to be afraid. And the government, why well, they want me to stay on the plantation. And they said, oh, oh, don't you go out there walking in the woods by yourself. Because the government is shut down and the woods is closed. There's no funding to keep the woods open. And if you go into the woods, the bears are going to eat your body after you get struck by lightning and you're going to die. And who's going to build the roads?